Hello YouTube, welcome to my, what am I going to call it, small grinder made from a drill and boards. This is that MDF stuff, it's, it's almost like cardboard, it's like your sawdust pressed together, but it will split, believe me the other side split, I filled this in with some sawdust and glue, but I've got a brace in there, I just went ahead and used that piece I had, I showed in a video one day. Okay, this is actually forced in there. This actually bowed the wood. So it's in there very, very tight. But we want to make sure it can't come out. So we're going to bend a strap of metal around and then twist it to lay flat here. And this is what we have. Now I could bend this by hand. It's an old flower pot hanger. I used to have a brace probably coming up. I don't know where. You can see it had another piece of metal on it. I don't know where. Oh, it probably went up here. See it? Real soft metal. So I can bend that by hand. So I know it's going to bend with heat. So we're going to bend it around her. Because we didn't want to put a strap back here. Because this stuff will split with screws. We figured we're going to bend it around. Then bend it over. So it bolts down to here I think you know what I mean that was just done with a paper template and a wood rasp round one what do they call them real rough round wood rasp I could show you but I don't want to feel like stopping the video but you know what I mean round rough bastard file whatever that's not a bad word I've been polishing this up with some sandpaper. And, we might as well show you our voltage control. In case I forget. This has been modified. Do it at your own risk. There's stuff on the internet to do it. That's why that hole's there. But no, this is... I'm electronic. Not a genius. But I took it apart and got rid of a variable potentiometer off the board. And added a bunch of resistors of thousands of ohms and everything. And made it my own. So it's a nice, smooth, and you'll see it at the end how smooth it works. I'd rather use this for my Variac. My Variac $60, this is $20. So, which would you want to use all day long? Available at Harbor Freight? I don't get paid to say that. Okay, enough of that. Let's get to work and get this bent. Oh, there's a collar here. See that? Inch and a half collar. So see how I took my whole saw and went through there? So that holds it. And it can't it can't twist this way, but it can slide out. So that's what we're preventing. It, it can't go this way no more. Because this slot, we just don't want it to slide backwards. We have a lot of nice little stones and stuff to put in there. We're not really going to use it for a buffer machine. But there's a reason I'm making all these small tools. Is because I'm going into smaller and smaller projects. I'm getting older. I like the small stuff. I don't build model cars anymore. I just want to build small things. So stay tuned. I rambled on long enough. What, it's 3 minutes and 42 seconds? But as I'm rambling, I always try to give you different views and stuff. So you can just ignore me talking and just look what I'm doing. So hang in there. We'll get this done. Okay, we've got our bracket made. We've got one little flaw. What do you think I should do? Can you see where that's cracked or I bent it? Should I braise that? Because I'm always going to know that it's there. You know I'm going to braise it. I can't stand it already. It's not bent perfectly around. But we know the drill can't come out this way, and it really can't lift this way, because remember, this gets bigger here than here. So, when this is all tight, and these bolts, I had to tap in with a hammer. The holes are kind of angled and everything, and we're going to inset. See how I did that? And ground that off. We're going to do that with the, the nuts once they're in there, because we want to see the bolt head up here what we want to see okay we're gonna braise it so we'll be back
when you when we come back this will all be painted and everything so we don't want to make this too long a video so we'll be back okay we are done with this project I took pictures of the bottom where I inset the bolts and everything we could not paint that we end up polishing it with our uh, different Dremel stones and shot with some clear coat we just could not paint that it had to stay metal and like this this was blue so that's what it'll be yeah this stuff don't take stain very good on the there if you want me to to run you want to see me running this in action I should say after the pictures I'll come back with a clip and be running the speeds and I'll stick a stone in there for the fun of it and so you can hear it and see it running in action so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this build I don't know what I'm gonna call it I guess it's just a homemade jig for holding a drill what do you call these hand drill portable drill oh we'll think of a title and this is stained with some black cherry stain with clear coat it's nothing special uh, we'll figure a way to clamp it to a table we're going to maybe bring back our big antique kitchen table for winter time. We'll talk about that in another video. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, we stayed for the credits. It's the end of the movie. Here we go. You all seen that controller? We're gonna turn it on on low. I modified this one, so it, you don't get much torque down here. You gotta remember that when you put these controllers on, you lose your torque. That was full speed. I don't want to keep it. It'll vibrate a little bit. about halfway. Can you hear me? That's about halfway. You're bringing over. The cord doesn't reach why I can't show you me turning the knob. There you go, we're out of here. It is just too hot out here.